Hey YouTube and members of the YTPC. I'm back with a little life update video. Um, let me sit down. This is uncomfortable. And now I gotta unpack. Hold on. I should have did this before I started filming, huh? Drop it. Just um, giving y'all an update that I'm, this is a reoccurring thing on my channel where I say I don't know when I'll be back or whatever. Um, I was working on a uh, a mail call video. I ordered a uh, Old Dominion corn cob pipe. It's um, more of a classic design. It's got like a reed stem instead of a plastic stem like a Missouri Meerschaum does. Um, I wanted it just because it's like a classic corn cob pipe. I thought it looked cool. I wanted the one they call the Chesapeake just because I'm a Maryland boy. I'm a transplant to West Virginia. If you look on a map, West Virginia, how is it? How does it go? West Virginia looks like that, right? Well, I live right up here where it cuts underneath Maryland and Virginia cuts right underneath of it. You can drive from PA to Virginia through four different states in about 20 minutes where I'm at. Um, where the hell? Oh, but so <laughs> I was like, where the hell was I going with that? I'm a Maryland boy, so I got a bit of a, a soft spot for Chesapeake Bay, you know? So I wanted a Chesapeake, but they didn't have it. Emailed them about it. They said that they are, uh, I think they're upgrading their machinery and they should be up and running in the summer at some point. So that'll be cool. But I got the uh, Virginia planter, it's a really long one. I filmed the beginning half of it, of the unboxing and all that, and I need to pipe it. And I'm not gonna go into details about that now because you guys can just watch that video. Um, and then I just had like a week from hell. Um, and just haven't gotten around to it. So, um, it will come eventually. If I can work up the motivation, I'm gonna try to pike muddy tonight. But I just wanted to give you all a little life update, that kind of thing. So we're stuck. we'll start with the, with the truck. In I think my last video, I talked about, uh, oh, my weekend's gonna be busy, I gotta start working on the truck or whatever, you know? I had bought this truck, the Chevy S10, it's 2000. Decent little truck, rusted all the hell in that, but four wheel drives, the off-road packages, the ZR, whatever the shit. Uh, there wasn't any kind of monetary thing I can get, but whatever. Screw you, YouTube. Um, But it ran and had four wheel drive. Out where I'm at, you need it in the snow. I had a Dodge Neon 2002. Yeah, it was a piece of crap. I didn't really care for it, but it was a necessity purchase. Got it for four grand. It was listed at five, talked the guy down to four. So, what do you want for nothing? I got four good years out of it. Um, got past tense. When I filmed that video, I was still driving the Neon, and I had intended on fixing the truck slowly, doing some body work and all that. And, you know, once I got it all good, because you know, that's all I thought it needed was body work. Just rocker panels were shot. Um, I had a real big hole rusted in the third door that I did some very redneck body work to with some sheet metal to get it to pass inspection. But so anyway, it was, that Friday that I got the Old Dominion, I was driving the car. And long story short, basically the transmission went out on it. Thing overheated, all kinds of crap. I limped it home, parked it, and that's where it stayed. 
I was like, well, guess it's time to get the truck on the road. <laughs> like, wouldn't you figure I talk about, yeah, I'm gonna start working on it. And then it's like, well, gotta do it now, right? So, I do body work on this truck all weekend. Thing ran on Saturday. Needed a jump, but drove it into the garage so I could do body work on it. Monday comes around, I take off work, borrow my buddy's vehicle so I could drive to the DMV, turn my old tags in, get new tags for the truck, set up the registration and all that kind of stuff, get the title put in my name and all that crap. Because I, I'm glad I didn't, but I could have banked on using the truck to get there, just put the old tags on or whatever, but that would be illegal. And Murphy's Law follows me around, likes to kick me in the butt every once in a while, so I didn't feel like risking it. Um, went to the DMV, did all that crap, got back to the house, went to jump in the truck to go get it inspected so it would be ready to go, the truck wouldn't start, wouldn't turn over. Shit. So. To make a long story short, basically the fuel pump shot. So I'm still borrowing my buddy's car and I got two big 4,000 some pound paperweights sitting in the driveway. Anybody want to buy a Dodge Neon? Good parts car. Transmission's bad, but everything else is probably okay. I don't know, I'm not an auto mechanic. I'm winging it here, man. $500. You know what? For you guys, you get the YTPC discount. $400 and you can have this Dodge Neon. Get it out of my driveway. Uh, I'm probably gonna take it. There's a raceway up the road, and they do um, they race like Porsches and stuff up there. But they also do like redneck class, basically, where you just take a car, it's all stock, you pull everything out, put a roll cage in it, and you run it. And guys run neons up there, so I'll probably put a flyer up there for it, and somebody will buy it just to park the damn thing out. Um, body's in great condition, surprisingly. 2002. I'm waiting for this log to snap. Nature's rocking chair, man. <laughs> So that, that was the bane of my existence for a week. But in the grand scheme of things, it's freaking peanuts. It was, um, in Derek's reverse calabash, I brought up that something was wrong with his arm. And we didn't know what it was, but we thought it was cancer. And it turns out it wasn't. Well, it turns out it probably is. It's either lymphoma or leukemia. They don't know which. They're shipping them down to Charlottesville, where it's uh, a cancer specialist to get checked out and maybe start them on chemo. Um, worthless ass city hospital up here. Pulled the wrong lymph node. Did tests on it. Kind of shit, man. Like Doc says. Well, that one's all swollen, but this one over here is smaller, and it's not as swollen, but it looks suspicious. So we're going to biopsy that and do tests on it. Why wouldn't you take the one that's swollen, you jackass? So, yeah, there's that. He went back to the hospital on Sunday because his arm was real swollen. And he didn't feel good, and his girlfriend finally convinced him to go because he had a follow-up. They thought... He had a follow up with somebody that thought maybe it was breast cancer. Doctors are idiots. I say that and they have eight years of school and know way more about health than I do. And all idiots. I'm just mad. I'm very mad. That's my, this is my best friend, you know? He's been my best friend since we were 15 goddamn years old. Like, pardon my language in this video. I'm not happy. Uh, I curse like a sailor. I worked construction for about eight years, if you couldn't tell by the nice vest. Um, so we curse. <laughs> My beautiful, wonderful, amazing girlfriend was calling me and it cut the video off. She's probably at my house. She's coming down from Philly for the weekend. But yeah, so again, I apologize for the language in this video. I'm just rather perturbed. Um, and scared, you know. It's like he's he's my best friend. You know, he's been my best friend since we were 15 years old. I'm 30. He's 29. We have the same birthday, November 11th. 
1988, he's 1989. He's 29 years old with cancer. Maybe. Not, knock on wood, it's not. Mm, F and hope it's not. Hopefully it's something weird and stupid. Like, oh, you got bit by a spider or some kind of shit, you know? <sighs> Smoking a cigar today. It's easier than walking around with a pipe trying to keep that thing lit and it burns longer, too, for a longer video. I wasn't sure how long this was going to go. This is, uh, there are no label, house, house blend, house cigar, whatever, from King Street Emporium in Martinsburg, West Virginia. You can get a bundle of 20 for about $72. So, can't beat that with a stick. About two and a half bucks a stick, give or take. Um, not the cheapest ones they have in there. But, out of all their really cheap ones, these are probably the best, I'd say. This is actually a new one. They had Connecticut Maduro. This one is a sun-grown wrapper. It's really nice. It doesn't bite real hard. Real smooth cigar. I like it a lot. Uh, the owner gave me a free one when I went in there last time because he knew I smoked this one, these ones all the time. He's like, try this out, man. This is a new one. You might like it. Let me know what you think. So he caught me one. And I really liked it, so I decided I was going to get me a bundle of them. Anyway. I'm just scared, you know? I've lost one really good friend in my life. Like, dude was like a brother to me, you know? This dude, Greg, when I lived out in Baltimore, died in a motorcycle accident, coming back from bike week, hit a car, head on. Which, if you knew Greg, that's how he'd want to go. Cancer is an ugly, nasty bitch. But looked up lymphoma and all that crap, and it's got about an 86% survival rate. So I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. And if y'all could do me a favor, all 62 of you, 62 subscribers now. I'm real, real glad I remembered that because I wanted to thank Ghost Cobb and Wharf Valley Boy. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. It's that weird English spelling. Um, y'all gave me a shout out in a Find Five Friday, I think you guys call them, where you find five guys like me who don't have a whole lot of subscribers and give them a shout out so all your subscribers come check them out, which explains the influx of subscribers I got in the past couple weeks. I didn't understand it. So thank you, both of you, for giving me a shout out. It means a lot. Um, but if you 62 subscribers could just send positive vibes Derek's way. I'm not much of a religious man, but I do believe in the power of positivity. So, if you're religious, pray to whatever imaginary friend you want to pray to. That's, that's a joke between me and Kaylee. She's, she's Christian, and I call God her imaginary friend. Uh, it's not, I, I swear it's not a slight. I was raised Catholic, so I have a little bit of Catholic bitterness to me. Um, But one way or another, just send positive things his way for me. I'd appreciate it. At this point, I'm willing to take whatever help I can get. You know what I mean? Right. <sighs> Nothing can hurt, right? I don't know. I just need to talk, you know? Like, I, I'm very lucky, and Derek's very lucky. We have a very large, close-knit group of friends. They're all wonderful people. And, um... I don't know if this is how people see me, but this is how I try to be. I try to be the rock. I try to be, you know, the steadfast guy, the guy you can count on, the guy you can talk to, the guy when crap hits the fan, I'm the guy who doesn't panic. I try to be the guy who's like, all right, how are we fixing this? What are we gonna do? Here's what I'm thinking. We can do this or this. If that doesn't work, we can do this or this. I got five game plans already. What do y'all got to bring to the table, you know? I try to be that guy. I try to keep a brave face, I guess, for everybody. But that's not always easy. And I just, 
I don't know. Talking to the camera, even talking to you guys, it's getting it out helps a lot. Talking about things helps a lot. Um, but he's my best, best damn friend, you know. And I've been like this since we were 15, man. We <laughs> skirted death so many times in our life doing dumb shit when we were kids. Like, we used to skateboard and he rode a BMX bike. We'd throw ourselves down big steps and do crap that, like, at 30 years old, I just want to go back and shake myself at 16. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, I wear a knee brace now because of you. Like, we got arrested together. You know? Like, we've been through thick and thin together. We were all, we, we both graduated together. Like, didn't think we would pass high school, and somehow we both pulled it off. You know, he's seen me at my lowest, I've seen him at his lowest. Always had each other's back. Squirrels. And it's just scary to think about, man. You know, the ramifications of it all. But I'm trying to stay positive. Um, we got a group chat thing going where his girlfriend's giving us updates. And At one point, she was like, I don't know what to say. And the only thing I could think to reply with was, say he'll be all right. Keep saying it until you believe it, you know? So that's what I'm trying to do. And power of positivity, man, PMA. I don't know if you can make that out, it's all faded and gone now, but PMA is positive mental attitude. It's a thing from the Bad Brains. They're a punk band from D.C. back in the 80s. I got that tattooed there as a reminder because some days it's harder to stay positive than others, you know. But it is hard to be positive when your friend has cancer. I don't like... I fix things for a living, you know. And when I can't fix something, when something's just out of my hands, I hate it, man. I hate it. Like, I want to attack the problem. Like, that's how I get crap done, you know? Like, when something's going wrong, I don't like to wallow in it and roll around in it. No, oh, woe is me. My truck's not running? Let's fix it. Like, let's rip the fuel filter out. Is that the problem? Nope. All right. And Derek with his big crab claw arm that was three times bigger than his other arm helped me push that truck out of the drive out of the garage because of the way our door is I couldn't get it over the board and then helped me diagnose the problem he poured gasoline in the air intake while I turned it over and fired up and once that gas burned off the truck would shut down so we knew it wasn't getting fuel one for him I wouldn't know what the problem is you know what I mean and even with his arm and all the pain he was in he helped me push this big pickup truck out of my garage you know what I mean but, you know, when something's going wrong, I just, I want to fix it. That's how I deal with it. I got to fix it. I got to try to fix it. If I can't fix it, I'll fail. But at least I tried something. And then that idea is gone. So what's the next idea? Back to the drawing board, you know. But when you're just helpless to do anything about it, it's just deflating. kicking the nuts is what it is and like I've lost people with cancer before you know my grandmother Betty died of lung cancer when I was about 10 on April Fool's Day as a matter of fact my grandfather uh, on the other side I don't know, pop out pretty sure cancer is what did him in he had a lot of stuff wrong with him towards the end but like they were all old, you know? You expect that. I work in a nursing home. I'm around death a lot. But people who are in their 70s and 80s and 90s, when they die, it's like, well, 
you lived a full life, you know, you, hopefully, you lived, you've been on this earth at least 80 years, you know what I mean, like, might have got married, might have raised kids, whatever, it's what you do, you die, we all die, eventually, I'm gonna die, you're gonna die, we're all gonna die, this is what happens, you get old, and you die. But at 29 years old, to get something like that, that very well could be a death sentence. You know, I don't like saying that, but I was researching stuff. and I mean, There's like 16 different lymphomas that it could be, and it depends if it's spread and if it's in anything else. And they're checking his bone marrow because it might have moved into his bone marrow and turned into leukemia or whatever. Some of them are like, oh yeah, you can walk out of that, no problem. Other ones are like slim he's young and that's the advantage he has the older you get the harder it is but still dude like doesn't make it easier to deal with I don't mean to unload my problems on all y'all and if this is too much of a bummer feel free to check out you know what I mean if nobody watches this video I don't really care it's just gotta say this stuff you know what I, mean? I gotta get it out of my system I said man it's just scary I don't want to lose my best friend you know I haven't I don't even have any kids or anything that he could have met I want him to meet meet kid meet my kids you know when Kayla and I have some I'm gonna marry that girl I can tell you that right now You know, like, he's supposed to be the best man at my wedding whenever I get married, like, not that I proposed to Kaylee or anything like that, but if I were to get married tomorrow, he'd be my best man, you know, like, it's him, he's my best damn friend, that's the best man, right? And I'd like to believe it would be the other way around, if he got married. Just got a dog, Brizzy. That's his dog. I want to peed on the porch. <laughs> I, 29. You still have so much of your life left. It's just hard to think about, you know. But he is the most stubborn son of a bitch I've ever met in my life, and one tough bastard too. I watched him face check so many times on skateboards, just straight to his face. We call it a scorpion when your ankles touch the back of your head. On his BMX bike, he put the handlebar, the grip, through his sternum, through his sternum. Like, he's still got a hole there. Dude walked it off. <laughs> Never went to the hospital. Probably should have. If anybody's going to beat it, it's him. Doesn't make it any easier to deal with, though, you know. <sighs> that felt great. Ooh, got another one out of it. <sighs> I don't know, man. So, I decided I was going to go on a woods walk. Because, like I said, in general safety, you ever need to clear your head, man, just get out into the woods. I mean, listen to this. Relaxing. It just sucks. No other word for it. It sucks. He'll beat it though. He'll beat it. He has to. 
anybody can do it, it's him. I'm gonna keep telling myself he's gonna beat it. He was talking about him like he's already gone. Past tense crap. But he's still here. If anyone can beat it, it's him. take the AR with me because there's a bear that wanders the neighborhood according to the neighbors. I've yet to see it but there's a very large plot of woods behind my house so I believe it. They're around here. 223 wouldn't kill it but I got 30 of them in there. <laughs> I'll take a damn good try. At the very least it might scare it off. Loud bang hopefully. But I know for a fact there's coyotes back here. I hear them all the time. Bobcats are in the area. If I was going to run into anything, I'd rather run into coyotes or a black bear. You could scare off both by screaming at it. Bobcats are quiet and they sneak up behind you. Big cat won't come straight at you, big cat will lie and wait till you turn your back, sneak up behind you, take you down before you even know what hit you. Bobcats aren't real big, but they'll mess you up. They get old of you. Probably get 100 pounds of cat. I did, however, today. I went to King Street, and on top of buying this, I grabbed two um, excuse me, CAO Brazils. CAO, chow. I don't know how to pronounce it. I always spelled it out. But I've heard some people call it chow. But I grabbed two CAO Brazils because they're one of his favorite cigars. And I got this plan that I'm just going to keep him in the humidor until he's in remission. And then me and him are going to sit and have a cigar. And those will sit there until he is. Pardon me a second. I don't know. Probably squirrels in the brush or something. I love the woods, but I also get a little paranoid out here when I'm by myself. Especially at night. Well, this video alone is going up on 20 minutes. I think the other one was probably about 10, so it was about a half hour video at this point, so I'm going to cut it off here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing.
as well. All 62 of you. Thanks again to Ghost Cobb, Wolf Valley Boy. And thank you all who send any kind of positive vibes Derek's way. I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully, in the next couple days, I'll have a mail call video, a review of that old Dominion pipe, if I can work up the motivation. Tomorrow's truck day, though. Got to pull the fuel pump out and redo it, so I don't know. So I got to try to do it tonight. Pipe mud it, I mean. So, until next time, happy cigaring. <laughs>